Another example of where you, you've gone with the story, I know you'll say you don't do the headlines because that's, that's the easy out for the journalists and the, the print. the truth pickers. Yeah, well, you don't do the headlines. Okay, that's well, I would I find that amazing. Can I just I find that amazing, the headline crisis. Surely, it, as your piece, you go, that just changes the whole perception of what that piece is about. We do argue sometimes the headlines. There's yeah. no doubt about that. But one thing in this world, it's like you guys when you have an event and you advertise. And you've got Nathan, but come and see the greatest show. Oh, and rah, rah, rah. Yeah, advertise for people to look. That's what you blokes do. And in a certain way, our newspaper puts a headline, read this. This is great. You know, what happens and that sometimes different? happens. What happens when the, like well, the story you did with Jeff Kennett? I mean, it was, had nothing to do with, with it what did he so. said. It didn't. Now, you so know it did. Now, you, you, <laughs> yeah, you know it did. Let's just put a little mark here. You manage Alistair Clarkson. Oh, no no right. problem. Well, yeah. I haven't heard it, anyone say it, so I thought I might just say it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Jeff Kennett. Once again, Slam criticised, coach. criticised Slam coach Alistair Clarkson's game stop. Slam coach. What? Slam's own no, coach. No, yeah, I did have an argument with Jeff about that. <laughs> he, had, he had merit to argue that. But tell me another he person that he you talks about. There, he, he, tell me another person who talks about his coach's game style like Jeff Kennett yeah, but does. he didn't slam the coach, Robbo. That was the headline.